always needed always needed when you're about to talk waffle for 20 minutes straight hello everyone welcome back to this youtube channel my name is kieran this is real talk football if you're new to the channel please subscribe i've got my team of the year coming for chelsea i've got my team of the year coming for the premier league they'll both be coming out monday and tuesday of next week and today is the preview for the man city versus chelsea game it's going ahead I honestly thought we were going to have a two week break because of Covid but you know some players, some City players just decide to miraculously recover. The training ground miraculously re reopens on Wednesday and here we are, Chelsea have a game this Sunday. In a way I'm disappointed because I wanted all the negativity to blow over and the pressure sort of to be forgotten about Go into this game with a fresh head but it is what it is. We play this Sunday, Frank Lampard needs to win. If you look at the City squad they have five players out for this game so the pressure is building we need to win this game there's no excuse we've won one game in six games this game will be huge for frank lambert if he can win this a lot of the pressure will be off him and we can move forward but if he loses pressure builds fans start to get impatient reese james is out with a hamstring injury unfortunately but there is positive news and it will please some of the moroccans that watch these videos because hakim ziesh is fit or could be fit to start on Sunday, Frank Lampard will make a decision prior to the game on whether he can start or not. But it is great news because this is what we've been missing. The spark in the team, the creative spark in the team, the player that can pick out a pass that no one else can. Um, and Hakim Ziyech, he has the brain for football, he has the vision to do that. We were just lacking that creativity in the last few games. No one able to pick out the killer pass and I think Hakim Ziyech comes back into this lineup. It will be a big advantage against this Man City team. I expect us to play counter attack on Sunday. Um, Man City have always been a possession team. I'm expecting City to have the majority of the ball and to have someone like Hakim Ziyech in this team who can set someone off on a counter. Timo Werner, for example, that would be a huge advantage this Sunday if we could star him. And for the lineup, what we all wanted to hear, I'm, I'm going to predict the lineup now. I don't know, it could change, it could vary. In goal, I'm going for Edward Mendy, uh, being our best keeper this season. <laughs> There's no argument really, is there? Edward Mendy in goal. Right back, Cesar Aspilacueta. Reese James is injured. Easy for me, you pick Aspi in this game. The two centre-backs, pretty easy again. Um, Thiago Silva, Kurt Zuma. I thought in the last game we struggled big time with Christensen, Rudiger in defence. Didn't feel comfortable with them at the back whatsoever. In fact, Christensen made a huge mistake in that game, not getting up and getting back for the goal. So, I don't think he deserves to start. I don't think Rudiger didn't impress me either, so <laughs> it's easier for me. Zuma and Thiago Silva at the back. Left back, we're going for Ben Chilwell. Had a great game in the last game. One of our standout performers against Aston Villa. And, um, yeah, he's been being played a lot at the moment, but that's understandable. We do not have depth in that position. Left back is a problem. We're probably going to need to invest in a second left back to um, come in for Ben Chilwell when he's injured. Because I do not rely on these two joke men um, that are able to replace Ben Chilwell. They've made too many mistakes. Emerson has played too many people onside. Alonso is too slow. He's not good defensively. And he's out, fallen out of favour with the manager as well. So we need to invest in that position, in my opinion, for more depth. But yeah, we'll start you well in this game against City. CDM, I think it's pretty obvious you go for N'Golo Kante. Um, he will break up the play, break up some of these triangles the City players will form in the midfield. And he'll bring the energy in the midfield as well, something that we need. High intensity. If you start Jorginho in that pivot role like we did against Villa. Did we start him against Villa? We did. If you start Jorginho in a game like this, he's just going to get easily bypassed. And defensively we will be frail as well because you don't have any players protecting the back four. It's just going to be our back four completely exposed like the last game. Which was part of the problem and part of why we lost. And why we look so defensively vulnerable in the last game. Um, so I wouldn't start Jorginho. Left centre mid. I would go for Mason Mount. Based off consistency. I, I wouldn't bring Kai Havertz into this game yet. He looked very good against Villa but I feel like he's more of an impact sub sort of player. For this game rather than a star and um, we need to slowly ease him into the squad 
He is an adapting player from the Bundesliga. You don't want to start him against City. Might ruin his confidence if he has a bad game. So he needs to just ease Kai Havert slowly in. I know he's a record signing, but people need to stay patient with him because he's a young player. Young players thrive on confidence. They can't really thrive when they're low on confidence. I'll start Mason Mount in this game. He's the more confident player at the moment and the one that's more adapted to the Premier League. Right centre mid, you go for Kovacic again for the energy in the midfield. Break up the triangle that you're going to play. Possession football. You need someone like Kovacic to bring the ball forward in the transition. He's very good. We need someone good in the transition against City. 100%. Right wing. Oh, it's difficult. Callum Hudson had died. He's played so well recently. It's hard to drop him. If he's fit, you need to start Hakim Ziyech. You need to start him. You need to take that risk because he is such an effective player. Creative wise, vision wise. And he brings something extra that these players that we're playing at the moment don't bring. And <laughs> that's the killer pass, of course. This man has a left foot of gold, set pieces. He brings the set pieces to the table. You can't really leave him out if he's fit, to be honest. Left wing, you go for Christian Pulisic. I think it's pretty straightforward. He's played brilliantly. Best dribbler in the team. Um, He just brings something extra, doesn't he? He brings that extra boy to that left wing position. He's got a jink about him. He can do something special. That little sprinkle of gold dust. That's that's Christian Pulisic. We saw what he did against City during the lockdown period. <laughs> he absolutely destroyed Mendy on the counter-attack. Striker. Olivier Giroud, not suited to City, I don't think. Tammy Abraham, not suited to City. City played a high line. It's quite straightforward. I think, tactically, you need to start Timo Werner in this game. Get him behind the City defence because we all know that he is lightning when you play him over the top, when you play him in from behind. So it would be great to see that front three that we all look forward to seeing. The Ziyech, Pulisic and Timo Werner front three. Those are the ones that we were promised in the summer when we went out and invested in these players. That front three is the one we want to see and what we have been looking forward to see since the start. But injuries have inhibited that. And made it more difficult for us to start that front three. But I think in this game it would be perfect. Because because of City playing that high line. Werner, Pulisic, players like that will be dangerous getting in behind. That's the team everyone. I hope you agree with this lineup. Please let me know in the comments. If you don't actually. It would be interesting. Do people want to start your real front? People think Callum hudson Doy that deserves to keep his place. Because I think he does. But it's just like Ziyech. You know, it's the attraction of starting Ziyech in a game like this. I hope we win. I hope we stop the raw. It'll be huge to get a win against the team from the traditional top six. And it will really boost our top four chances. And maybe even more than that. Who knows? It's a weird season. It's a weird season. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next video, which will be this Sunday after we play City. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.